Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Simply Espresso, coming to you today from the northeast of Scotland. So, for today, I'm going to be reviewing the second lot of Kalorna beans that I got, and this was part of their, um, their Gesha series, or the Gesha monthly subscription. As you can see, here's the packaging. If I can get it in the shot there, get the light on it. There we go. So, it's Las Lajas Panitos. Apologies if I butchers any of the pronunciation there. And this is the Costa Rican Gesha. So that's the packaging. It also comes with a, a little leaflet like this. With some tasting notes on the back as well. And a wee story about the beans and about the farm. And get some of it in shot. And I'll read some of the description here. So this Costa Rican Natural Gesha displays a cup of clean, delightfully fruity sweetness with light florals and a silky body. So there you go. Right now, <laughs> full disclosure, I've tried shooting this particular coffee now, this coffee review for the last few days, and something always goes wrong. Uh, either the camera drops or something goes wrong with the shot. Hopefully this time around we will get everything all right. <laughs> so what I've done is I have um, I've prepped the uh, the niche. So we've put in 18 grams of coffee. So let's uh, have a wee look at the at the beans then, shall we? Okay, guys, that's us up top now um, on the niche, looking down at the beans. As you can see, beans I would suggest would be medium to light, probably bordering more in light. I would say. Um, down the niche um, at the moment is at 10, so I'm hoping that that will be a fine enough grind to produce a decent shot. Um, so on to the grind then. Well, welcome back guys. That's us now back at the Puristika. So the boiler on the Puristika is at 94 degrees Celsius. The group head is hot. The pup, puck has been prepped, um, so we're hoping for um, 36 grams out approximately, uh, aiming for about 25 to 30 seconds, although um, on this one I think I'd be happy enough with a slightly longer shot if possible. So as I said, the niche is sitting at 10 on the dial, so let's see what this brings us. Let's see what this brings us, shall we? Okay, so weight-wise, we got a bit above the 36 grams we wanted, so about 37 grams, um, and that was in approximately 27 seconds. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause it here, and I'm going to get the camera out a little bit, and then we can take a look at the shot. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, guys, so welcome back. So that's us done the shot on the Puristika. So looking at the glass, we've got a little bit of crema here. Not that much, but uh, a small amount. Anyway, let's get on to the tasting notes then, shall we? The nose is very good. It's getting floral sweetness coming through. Just smells very, very inviting. Anyway, on to the taste. Okay. Mm, that is very good. So a very silky texture on the palate. Getting some lovely sweetness coming through. Again, I'm expecting that acidity from these beans and I'm getting them. So citrus, brightness, liveliness on the tongue. 
playing along um, together along with the sweetness really really nicely I'm not really detecting any bitterness on this at all it's all very very um, smooth and delicate all right so another taste more of that acidic kick but again the sweetness comes in and keeps it in check therefore the balance is quite good mm. it's very very good mm. quite a bit of drying on the palate again um, getting a bit of chocolate now as well but it's nice and fruity again I find it difficult with these beans sometimes to identify exactly what fruits to get. But I can just tell you it is fruity and citrus. Maybe that's the acidity that's making me think that. Right, so on to a score for this. So um, I've decided to give this one probably about, I think, an 8.5 out of 10. Maybe an 8.5 to a 9. Now, although I think these beans are really good... Um, this subscri subscription series from them, as I said, is their Gesha range, and it is quite a bit, quite a bit of a jump up in price from their standard beans, which are or well, the standard rare beans, which are, which are these ones, um, the Aguilera Brothers Pacamora, which I which I've done a review of recently. And I mean that's fifteen pound. Do I think that the Gesha is worth eight pound more than that? Um, I don't really think so. The other problem that I've got is I've got other geshas as well that I will be reviewing on the channel soon. Um, and this one came the other day from Cotwell Coffee. Uh, sorry, not Cotwell Coffee, from La Cabra. And this is a Costa Rican from Horsham as well um, that I picked up recently. So the thing is, this one here... And the Cabra, um, for their subscription, you're looking at £29, but you get two bags of coffee. One is 250 grams, and this Geisha is uh, 150 grams. This Costa Rican one from Holsham, I think this was £14.95. So it's significantly cheaper than than the one from Kelowna. Um And I think that they're just as good, in my opinion, I know I'm giving you a, a few spoilers here for my reviews coming up, but they are both excellent coffees. So, unfortunately, I think um, with these beans from Kelowna, I'm probably not going to carry on with the subscription. And that's no disrespect to Kelowna whatsoever. I think they produce excellent coffee. But I don't think that the Gesha, for me, personally, is a huge step up from their... Um, their rare subscription series. Um, obviously, there's different tastes and there's a different farm, etc. I mean, these are all different beans, but I think I can't quite justify the jump up in price when I can get other geshas for less for less money, basically. And it comes down to money a lot of the time with these things as well. Um, you have to decide what you can afford. I mean, I can't say that I can't afford the gesha beans, but from Kelowna, but I just, as I say, I don't think it's a massive step up from the rest subscription series anyway guys i finally managed to get through this review um i've been dreading this one as i say so i've spent a few days on this and that was the last of my colonna beans as well so i really hope that this has come out okay for you guys okay guys uh really appreciate you watching please like comment and subscribe to the channel if you wish and i hope you all have a fantastic day take care